My name is Nellie Deutsch and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use a learning management system called ProProfs. I've been using a learning management system or LMS since 2003 when I first introduced it into my high school and university classrooms. From the very beginning, my goal was to give learners more opportunities to access materials, to reflect, to collaborate, to build skills, to work with me on a one-to-one -one basis and go beyond the boundaries of the traditional classroom. Today, I want to show you how to use an LMS effectively, not just for fully online teaching, but to enhance in-person, virtual, and blended learning environments. Let's begin with the why. Why use an LMS? An LMS helps organize your teaching, first of all. Whether you're running a live workshop, teaching in a physical classroom, or hosting a virtual training session, an LMS allows learning to continue before, during, and after your meetings. It becomes your course hub, a place where you upload content, set up discussions, track participation, and connect with your learners. Using an LMS ensures your participants always know where to go and what's next, no matter where or how you teach. One effective way to use an LMS is through the flipped classroom model. Instead of using live sessions to present material, what I do is I upload videos, readings, and prompts to the LMS in advance. This gives learners time to prepare before we meet. Then our live sessions, whether in person or virtual, can focus on meaningful conversation, practice, and feedback. Participants who complete quizzes and activities at their own pace feel very, very empowered because they're not pressured. They can revisit the content as needed, retake their quizzes as many times as they wish. They have time to reflect and grow on their own terms at their own time in the comfort of their homes or anywhere else. Another benefit of using an LMS is what I do. I use peer learning because it supports learning from one another and peer interaction. I use forums, messaging systems, and group spaces to encourage my students to reflect comment on one another's ideas, and collaborate between sessions. These asynchronous conversations often go deeper than what we can cover in real time, and much deeper than I would generally imagine. And they help learners feel part of a community, not just a course. A good LMS keeps learning open and flexible. In my programs, participants have 24-7 access to everything they need, including doing their work at any time. They have the lesson materials, PDF files, and videos. They have recordings of live sessions, whether virtual or face-to-face. -face. They also have audio recordings for those who prefer to learn that way. They also have quizzes and skill-based activities where they can practice. The peer discussion boards and reflections, instructor feedback, and of course, at the end, they are awarded with a certificate of completion. Now let's break down how to use an LMS. Step by step, using ProProf's LMS as an example. Step one is to set up your course space. So in ProProfs, 
I begin by creating a new course and giving it a clear title and description. The platform allows me to use pre-designed templates or start from scratch. I can also organize the courses into sections or modules. Now notice what's available here. You can start from scratch, use templates for your courses, use ready-made courses, or create using ProProfs AI. I'm going to start with create using ProProfs AI. So here it goes. Notice what the next stage. The next stage is to add content. But before we do that, we need to come up with a name. The next stage, as you can see, is um, to fill in the form. Then go next. You can have a number of chapters in the course pages under each chapter, and quizzes under each chapter. Next, notice it's generating the course. And our course is ready. This is so exciting. We can go into the preview, click on that, and then we get two options. We can preview it as an instructor or as a learner, and I'm going to preview as an instructor. So I can also view it the way it would look on a mobile device, the way it would look on a tablet, and the way it would look on my monitor. And here it is. We can scroll down or we can click on start. The course objectives are here. Everything is all set up for us. Notice I asked for a four-week course and that's what I have here a four-week course. There's a table of contents. Let's go through the start. And this is what we get. Notice the left and the right. Everything is here. We've done step three, which is to create activities and assessments. We can also edit and add more activities and assessments. Step four is to schedule live sessions. For virtual meetings, I schedule Zoom sessions and embed the links directly inside the course. This keeps everything in one place and learners know exactly where to go when it's time to meet. Step five is to enable discussion and reflections. I create discussion boards for peer-to-peer -peer interaction. Learners post reflections, ask questions, and reply to others. I also use ProProfs, private messaging, for one-on-one -on -one support. Step six is to monitor progress. ProProfs offers clear reports and dashboards showing learner progress, time spent in the course, quiz scores, and completion rates. I use this data to follow up with participants and personalize my support. Step seven is to celebrate completion. When learners complete a course, ProProfs automatically issues a certificate of completion. This motivates learners and provides a sense of achievement. Whether I'm facilitating a local in-person workshop or delivering a global online program, ProProfs helps to create a supportive and consistent experience for every learner. Let me show you what this course looks like. So we're going to go on to next and notice here when I go into next, what happens on the left here with the green? That means that the work has been done. And this is what students do. They go through right through the process. Okay, let's go through it. Tools and platforms, case studies and examples, quiz. Okay, this is the quiz that students will take. Notice they click on start and then next until they get to the very end. I think this is absolutely amazing. Whether I'm facilitating this particular course or any other course, I just want to say that over the past 20 years, I've seen how a well used LMS can completely transform my teaching and students learning. And if you're wondering how to use a learning management system to make your teaching more accessible, engaging, and reflective, this is how I do it. With the right tools and structure, you can support learners before, during, and after every session, whether it's in person, 
online, or both. Thank you for watching. I invite you to visit ProProfs.com and explore how you can start using an LMS in your own teaching or training. Thank you.